This morning we're going to tackle um, our forward head. It has a weird smell. Well, it stinks. And I know most heads do stink, but a little bit different about our system is we don't have a salt water system, we have a fresh water system. And a lot of times your smells come from the salt water, you know, organisms that you pull up from the sound. But we don't have that problem. So we have two smells. We have kind of just a, a, a rancid head smell, sewage. And then we also have like this burning smell. And so we're going to try and figure it out. I've gone out on the Reddit. I've Googled it. I've heard, you know, check your vent, see if your vent is clogged. I'm not really sure how we're going to do that. I think the first thing we need to do though, is we're going to go down into the third berth and Scott right now is taking everything out of there and just see if we can see, see anything just in the lines itself. So let's see what he finds. So what do you have to do? I gotta pull the mattress off. Yeah. Oh. Okay. In order to get to all the storage. Oh, that wasn't oh. too bad. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. And the funny thing is the smell is kind of here. Obviously, this is where the head is. But it's not in this room, but it's definitely in this area. So you, where do we lift up that thing? Yeah, it's going to be back here. Um, oh. Does it stink? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, I don't see... Oh, uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Can you go get the uh, flashlight? There's a flashlight. Okay. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's where the holding tank is? Yeah. Uh, well, there's definitely a little bit of stuff on the bottom here. So. Let me see. Bottom of what? Oh. Right, right here. Oh God! So we have a little bit of a leak. We don't. Yeah, I don't know where that may be coming from. Could be the so holding tank. Could be the holding tank itself. Oh great! Oh, that is. Well, disgusting. I don't want to go any further without putting gloves on. No. Okay, so we had to switch gears here. Allie's got the smaller hands, so. She's gonna reach down there and just underneath this pipe. Yeah, just e either pipe and see if it's leaking. Just under there, wipe it. Yeah. Okay. What's it look like? Dry. Okay. okay. Try the other one. It does have a crack right there. Well, okay. But let's see. Okay. It's dry. Let's try. Okay, so it's probably not coming out of there. So who knows? It could be residual. There's it, also a little hole right or a dent there. So it could be that it splashes off the. Oh wait, uh, no, hold on. Don't see where it might be coming from unless it's coming from below. I guess what we could put it. Do you want to put a zorb in there and at least get that out of there? This is the vent, right? Yeah, that's the vent. Yeah, I mean, I want to get it out of there. Yeah. Okay. Let me go grab a couple zorbs. Ugh. Let me just see something here. Is there any way to reach underneath the tank? Nah. Mm -hmm. It's not there and on that side it looked good. And the thing is, is if it's leaking badly, but where did it come from? You know, unless mm -hmm. it's coming down the pipe? No, because the pipes are dry. <laughs> Or the hoses, I should say, no mm -hmm. pipes. So it doesn't seem to be leaking from the head itself, at least not down the pipes or the hoses. It Keep could saying. be the holding tank has a small leak. It could be. I wish we knew what was, I mean, because you do have this dent, so it looks like somebody. Stepped. Unless we, um, I'm not going to touch it until it's emptied. <laughs> so no. the only other thing is that we could, um, we could I mean, replace it. The holding tank? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look that difficult to replace in this no, case compared no. to some it's just places. Sitting in there. We just have to take the fittings off, screw them back on. Wouldn't it be a big deal? 
Well, let's get some plastic and some zorbs and yep. at least clean that up. Yep, yep. And bring me the other glove. Okay, so this is a benefit for me. I'm too big to get in there, so Allie gets the fun job of trying to... I might need my nose plugs, though. ...the zorbs into the holding tank area to see if we can pull out that. Do we need the light again, or do you think you're good? I might need the light. You want okay. to hold it for me? Great. Yeah, can you just lay it down? I think the thinner it is, the better it will absorb. How long does it take to absorb? I don't know. <laughs> this is disgusting. You want me to get a paper towel instead? Might be faster. I'm just trying to see how much oh. liquid is back here. And then I think I'm going to clean it with vinegar. Yeah. I spray that nonsense in here, or no scent. How's it going? Does it look like it's soaking it up? It's hard to say. It might be better with. Let me try with this paper towel. Yeah. Let's see. It's not a lot though. It might need more. Right, paper towel is definitely faster. Yeah. So ugh, it's still leaky. Can you get me more? Okay, so now we're switching gears, going to the shop, shop rags, paper towels. Okay, what's crazy mm -hmm. is it's like it's continually leaking. Well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. joys of being a boat owner. So first of all, if you know one thing about me, I have the worst gag. I'm amazed that I was able to clean out. Uh, like who knows how old that Thank urine you, is. <laughs> it's disgusting. So what we're gonna do now is we've left it completely open mm -hmm. and we'll see if it leaks. Yeah. Um we do have actually a pump out schedule for Tuesday, today's Sunday. Mm -hmm. So if it is leaking, um we will not use it. And uh we're yeah, hauling right. out on the twentieth and we'll have to replace the tank. Right. The question Luckily that, we have two holding tanks, so we can still use the aft head. We haven't checked that one. And it's we haven't a, checked it, but it, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Okay, mostly this one. I think so. And that burning smell I think I smelled was urine. Probably. You know, and that's what a little bit of the sewage was. Mixed in with a little... Well, we won't get into any of that. <laughs> you might be eating while you're watching this video. So the question yeah, then is, 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 luckily for us, compared to some boaters we've watched... The um, holding tank is actually pretty accessible. It looks like it's held down by a few screws. It's mm -hmm. got a few um, pipes. It's probably a pretty gross job, but it doesn't look super difficult no. to replace. The question is, is, do we do it ourselves? Or do we just have someone like Emerald Harbor do it for us? So, um, At least if they make a mess, they're responsible for it. So, you know, we might have a chance for them to... I just uh, don't think... I, and then you got to figure out where to do with it. It's a hazardous material. That's true, too. That's so, true, too. I mean, is it worth the extra thousand bucks, which it might cost, to have the thing replaced? I don't know. God, I hope not. It's only a plastic box. A couple <sighs> of hours of labor. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Yes, we signed up for it, so yeah. stay tuned. So now we know what the smell was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Follow your nose. Okay. Could, be, could have been worse. It yeah, could have right. been worse. So, so stay tuned. Absolutely. So it has been about an hour and it was staying dry, but I decided to clean the bathrooms and I put a little bit of toilet cleaner and I don't know if you can see right there down in there, but there are some soap bubbles from the toilet cleaner. So we have a leak so this toilet will not be used welcome to the joys of owning a boat i'm gonna have to replace it we wanted to give you guys a quick update on where we're at with the boat um today is september 5th we were supposed to go to everett tomorrow <clears throat> and uh, go visit my family up in kameno and I'm sure the boat probably would do just fine, but it stinks. Remember, a few days ago, we took out all the hatches, checked the holding tanks, 
and sure enough they're both uh, leaking so with the smell for me I don't want to sleep on it <clears throat> in fact this weekend we're gonna stay here at our apartment I don't know if you guys have ever seen it so that is downtown Seattle and the Space Needle hard to see actually and of course we have Elliot Bay behind us so we'll end up just staying here this weekend maybe do a few odd projects we are gonna still go up to Everett and check out the marina and have Brex breakfast with some friends Ben and Maria who you know well and we're waiting for Emerald Harbor to go check out the holding tanks hopefully this week so we'll give you an update and we'll see how it goes but it looks like we may be getting dirty soon Yuck. so as part of checking the forward holding tank we know that one is leaking we decided to check the aft holding tank as well and the first step is when we went to access it, we noticed that there was water still in the bilge. So um, in order to see if that one happens to be leaking, we're still gonna, we're just gonna sop up all the water that's in the bilge that the pump can't take out. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. So it's not gonna be a fun job, but hey, somebody's gotta do it. I wish it were Allie, but she did the forward tank. So I'll do this one. So in order to access our aft holding tank, and God forbid it is broken because we'll have to undo the entire floor because they encased it within the, the floor structure, um, is to just go through this access panel here. Get that out of the way. And we're just gonna sop up a bunch of the liquid that's still in the bilge here. Trying to put on the gloves. I'm just gonna use some paper towel Ugh. and just start soaking it up. Let's see what happens. Not a fun job. You have a garbage bag ready to put that in? Hmm? Yeah, I will. So that you know. I'm going to go through a lot of paper towel here. We want to just get it all in there, get as much as we can to get that stuff absorbing it. And then I'll start pulling it out and hopefully it's all soaked up to that. So, we have our first garbage bag here, get ready to go. Careful of any wires. I know. There's a few wires in here, but overall, it doesn't look that bad. It's actually not as nasty as I thought it would be. There's still a little gunk in there. But what we don't know is what that gunk is. So yeah. that's what we're trying to figure out. Is it just nasty bilge water or is it sewage? Okay, so you've sopped up some of the liquid. We mm -hmm. still need to do a few more. A little bit more. And but then we're going to run the toilet and see what happens? Yeah, let's run the toilet and see. You want to clean up that little extra yeah, there? Yeah, I'm going to. Yep. Okay. Okay, what did you just pull out from under there? An old Zorb. What does it look like? It looks disgusting. Gross! That's and it was under the holding tank? Under the holding tank, yeah. Okay, that's not good. And why? I don't know. Okay, so... Now that it's pretty dry in there, yep. what we're going to do is we're going to flush the toilet a few times. And see what happens. And see what happens. We've already done that before, but since there is a Zorb under there, that might have been preventing any leaks from moving forward. So the next thing we have to do is test our vacuum flush system. So Allie's going to go ahead and flush the toilet. That's going to force some water into the holding tank. And we'll see if anything comes out of the bilge. So at this point, it seems to be relatively dry. I mean, there's still a little bit of residual from when I wiped it up, but I'm not seeing any water coming in from the toilet itself. And if I reach underneath here, it's still dry. So dirty, but dry. So I don't see any water flowing. God, why did they have a Zorb under there? That is disgusting. I don't know. So why don't you go ahead and flush it, again. Flush it one more time. Is 
So there's two noises that you hear when we do that. That's the water pressure pump and then the vacuum flush uh, pump as well. So that's resetting the pressure on the vacuum flush. And again, like I said, it looks to be dry. I don't see anything else. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about what's going on here, at least in the aft berth. So as you can see, this is the holding tank, at least the forward end of it. It's about six inches tall and about four feet long. And there's no access points between here and So if it's four feet long, end. as you can see, it goes and under so the bed. We would have to dismantle the entire bed pedestal, cut a hole in the floor, and rip it out that way. We do not want to do that. So the water, the water tank is actually underneath the bed pedestal, as is the water pressure pump. So um, we have a big um, aluminum tank for those. Um, but there's no access point. So whoever architected this boat was feeling pretty confident that you'd never have to replace this tank. And um, the tank itself is, what, 17 years old now. And so um, maybe, maybe we're lucky on this back one. But um, as you're going to see, the forward one, eh, not so much. So uh, I think we're done back here. Okay. Yay. Okay, so now you have what, a special camera that you're gonna use for the other tank. Um, yeah. This is the one that's leaking. So we have this special pipe camera that we can use. And we're gonna see if it looks wet underneath. Okay, so that's you filming, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So Scott is now using a special camera to look underneath the tank to see if mm -hmm. it's dry or wet. But it's going to be really hard to tell. Mm -hmm. That should be... It looks dry though. It looks dry there. Yeah. So with the aft head, what we've done is we've flushed it a few times. We use this special camera to look underneath and Scott says that it's dry. But there was definitely liquid under there when I sopped it up and it does have a smell. Well, it but, is which, a holding tank. And it's it is a holding gonna, tank and it could be the lines. It's always going to have a smell. But the question now is, is maybe it's leaking after it gets too full. That's what we don't know. And that might be it because we had it pumped out so it's empty now. Right. So the only suggestion that I would have right now is we flush it until it fills up. And see at what point does it leak. Right. And then we can always have it pumped out again. We're going to have to anyways to replace it. Yeah. So, okay, so why don't you just go ahead and flush it, flush it, and we'll just keep an eye on it here. Okay. And we'll eventually have to flush it all the way to the point that it, the sensor comes on. We're trying to fill up the tank slightly. Oh, the smell, though. See, that's what's killing me. Anything? No. Yeah. Still dry? Sure. How full is the tank? I can't quite tell. Okay, so we're about three quarters of a, f of a full yeah, tank. We're about that far from the top of the tank, and it's still so not we're leaking. So, so it's still not leaking. We're waiting for the sensor here to go off as up. well. And we're going to fill it up. We've just been filling it up with plain water. And what we're wondering is if it just gets so full, it's got a hairline crack at the top, but maybe that's what it's why. It, or we don't know what that was. It was definitely urine I sopped up. Yeah, I mean, it was... Something. It was something nasty, but it kind of like in the last and the aft bilge, it might have just been... Is there a bilge in this one? Well, it, yeah, the same bilge. It's the same type of bilge. Oh. Yeah. But, it, but that was underneath the holding tank that I sopped up. 
right and it was yellow but, but it connects to under here oh so it's just kind of probably was sloshing back and forth okay with, with the boat being underway <laughs> to give you guys a quick update on our holding tank situation especially if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram we've been posting quite a few stories about a month ago we were trying to hunt down a smell and we went into the aft cabin and found forward cabin or forward cabin and found liquid underneath the holding tank so we just assumed it was leaking and, and it was brown liquid and so yeah. not a good sign not and a good I, sign. I cleaned it all up and then I said, we might as well check this one. And the bilge next to it also had brown liquid. So I'm yeah, like, Ugh. So they're like, Ugh. And we didn't know, the only way to get into the aft tank is to dismantle the entire bed. I mean, completely dismantle it. And cut the floor. And cut the floor. Yeah. We so want to do that. we want to make sure they're not leaking. So what we did is we cleaned them. And, and uh, you'll see that here in the video. We cleaned them all up, completely bone dry, mm -hmm. and we've flushed regular water just fresh water because we have fresh water tanks and so far they're dry they're dry so we don't think it's an actual tank problem um we we're thinking now it may actually just be a vent problem on the floor for the tank, smell for the smell what could have been and you're probably wondering yeah but are your pipes dry yep all the tri pipes and feeds were dry yep. there is some caulking down here on the forward one and i wonder if they had a leak and then didn't clean up the mm -hmm. liquid is what we're thinking. Right. The bilge could just be bilge water, yeah. and bilge water is gross. Yeah. So uh, right now, most people are saying it could be a vent issue, and vents really are what causes a lot of your sink. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some super duper air fresheners. The other thing everyone recommended is now that it's kind of going into winter, is don't really use your tanks that much. Actually, flush them more with fr fresh water pump them out again mm -hmm. a couple more times and try to only use the marina bathrooms as you go through winter because you just don't want it to sit there stagnant and that's mm -hmm. going to be kind of our plan to see if mm -hmm. if that helps so we'll can't see can't hurt <laughs> well, we, we can't really point. i know a lot of people <laughs> say to uh, do your hoses and they're not really accessible either so it would be a nightmare yeah, job it would be a nightmare so, so fingers crossed that's we will check out the vent though it does it, there is a little bit of corrosion on the outside of the boat so we're going to see if we can't maybe pop the vent cover there and just double check make sure that the vent line is clean um that's that's an easy test so we'll, we'll give that a shot see what happens so stay tuned we'll let you know thanks Okay, cut. Hey everyone, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, make a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell on the side so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Also, you can follow us on our blog at BoatingJourney.com, and follow us on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Boating Journey. Thanks, and we'll see you again.